Mr. Charmington here today, and welcome back to another video. And today, we are going to be playing a game called, I Think I Need Your Help. This is a game, this is a new game that I just found on Itch.io, and it is made by the same creators who have made some games that I actually played a long time ago. I'm pretty sure you know the creator by some of the games we have played, such as the one we played as a demon, confessing our love towards an angel, and or which is well you as you call it and also one about time and space yeah i pretty much played some games that are made by the same creator right here and today i found this game that is basically a uh game about you playing with this game so today i found this game on my recommendation page and it is a new feature uh, we'll just have to see. Without further ado, let us see what I think I need your help as a store for us for today. 3, 2, 1, let's go. Alright, let's see. Let's go see. How's it gonna go? Okay, so we got here these, uh, these characters right there. So we got this, uh, the, the, this girl, and then we got this girl right there. Ooh, I do like the designs. They're very nice. So, let me get this straight. A creature from the woods has kept you up every night for weeks. Okay, so this is Mira. I'm assuming that's her talking right here. And then uh, Bella. I'm assuming this is this is this girl right there, maybe. Yes. And a book with a uh, witchcraft you do not own has appeared. Oh crap. Nah. And the book with and the book on witchcraft you do not own has appeared in your living room. Yes. And you want to follow said book on how to get rid of yourself of that this creature yes okay i just wanted to be sure doesn't it s doesn't sound like you need my help oh no i really do you're a detective and i'm very scared i'm not going to fix another mess you've made for yourself Mila. well don't start that again i haven't done anything no, but you're about to make it worse. Oh, really? How? You don't even believe in witchcraft. I just know. Oh, yeah? Is that one of your detective hunches? Maybe it is. If you think I'm so bad at my job, then you shouldn't ask me for help. Do you have any idea how expensive it was to fly all the way to this stupid island? I didn't force you to be here. Look, you can go home if you don't want to help me. I'm going out there and I will fix this. Oh, so I'm guessing then the story plot right there that this girl, Vela, is trying to figure out about this monster that's stalking her and she's asking this girl, Mira, for help. Okay, this is kind of like a uh, detective investigation, a uh, suspenseful thriller mission right there with, uh, with, uh, with them wearing winter clothes, I think. Why don't you ask one of your old oh, little? Why don't you ask one of your little island friends? Well, none of them are as brave as you are. <laughs> yeah, sure. Fine, I'll help you. Oh, thank you, Mira. Ugh, but when things go south and I save your <clears throat> uh your butt again, I reserve the right to say I told you so. Mm, I can live with that. So, what do we have to do? Uh, according to the book, we need to get to the heart of the woods and contact the guardian spirit. Alright, it's, it's too weird. I'm just not gonna ask questions. Let's get it over with. I would like to be home by daylight. Okay, yes, well, you heard her. You gotta get back to it before daylight there. <sighs> Always in such a rush. Yeah, of course. Yeah, why do you think so? <clears throat> Alright, so this is the woods. The woods are here. I don't like this place. Hmm, I didn't think you were afraid of the dark. I'm not. There's just something off in this forest. I did tell you there's a, a strange creature out there. Are you sure it's not just some regular animal? I'm sure, Mira. Uh, I'm just saying... Isn't it too... Isn't it much more likely it's something completely mundane? I... If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Trust me. I mean, <clears throat> try me. Sorry, I meant to say. Okay, hold on. Alright. 
Try me. I doubt you can surprise me. It... This isn't something you would see in the big city. I know you've seen your fair share of horrors, but this is different. I still want to hear it. Oh, I guess she's, she just wants to hear it like she didn't even believe her. So I guess she's going to have to prove it probably. I don't know how she's going to prove it since she's telling you what, you what you need to know. But you don't seem to believe her right there, huh? Promise you won't make fun of me? Alright, I will try my best to take you seriously. That's not really, really re re reassuring. Fine, I promise I won't make fun of you. I've had nightmares every day for the past week. That's pretty normal, right? It's not the usual ones. Every night, I dream that a presence is approaching my cabin. It walks up to my bedroom window, and that's when I wake up to a figure darting away from my window. Okay, that is not very normal. Isn't it possible it was some just your brain playing tricks on you? Yeah, I thought so at first. Like, it's not like I wanted it to be real. But the dream persisted every night. Strange. Oh, it gets weirder. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, it gets stranger. I started seeing it in the corner of my eye, too. All the time. There were weird noises and furniture would be moved around while I was doing farm work. Vera? Uh, I... Vila? I uh, when I... Vila, when was the last time you've seen another human being? I'm not losing my mind! Something is messing with me and I will get to the bottom of it! Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Could you just trust me? I... I don't know. You know I don't believe in this kind of stuff. But you believe in me, right? Oh, come on, man. Dude, like, you gotta believe her. I mean, it seems very weird, but you just gotta believe her. There's... Maybe what if she is telling the truth? Like, what if there is some sort of monster that's stalking her or something? Ugh. We've been walking for a while. Why don't we take a break? Okay. I'll make a campfire. Okay, campfire it is. Let's do it. Right, so. Oh! Uh, okay, so wait. We're already already into a new scene. And the girls have changed their clothes. Neato. Hey, uh, so you're... Virla. Uh, yes, uh, that's me. Cool. What's the job? Oh, so is this like a flashback? Uh, when these two met? Interesting, okay. And what kind of clothes are they wearing? Are they, like, magical people? Like, what is this? What's going on here? Uh, well, there's this guy who's been following me around for a while. You got a stalker? Y yeah. How noisy has he gotten? Knocking on my door at late hours, leaving letters? Crap. Uh, that's pretty bad, Fila. Oh, uh, so apparently she has a stalker? Oh no, that's not good. Stalkers are bad news there, right there, like I want the fridge. I know, that's why I called your boss. Uh, it, is, it was just me, I work alone. Oh, uh, okay, I didn't know. No worries, does the guy happen to be one standing outside right now? Oh, who? Uh, we don't see him. <laughs> I see him. Uh, short black hair... A uh, cybernetic eye with a green glow and wearing a long coat? Uh, yeah. Right, then it was the guy I passed on my way in here. I can make him disappear. Oh, okay. Well, how are you going to do that, lady? You going to use magic or something? Because you look like a warlock, probably? Uh, disappear? That's not quite what I had in mind. Oh, yeah. You want to do something even more uh, diabolical? Maybe you want to be the one who does in hit him in. What? What kind of clients do you usually have? Uh, pretty nasty ones. I'm a little offended you would think I'm that nasty. Don't be. It's easier to assume everyone's nasty here in Bellfall. Oh, well, <laughs> I feel bad for you, Mira. But at least you seem to have one sane customer here. Yeah, that's why I'm a little offended. So, what do you want me to do with him? Can you make him go away without, well, making him d disappear? What that I can do. 
but that requires me to snoop around for a while and find some dirt on him. So, you're gonna stalk my stalker? Yep, pretty much. I'll make sure he won't, it won't be any more trouble with you, Viola. Thank you so much! No worries, I'll see you around. Bye! Okay then, well that's nice, she's gonna take care of it. Like, yeah, having a stalker is very annoying, but it can also be very dangerous here. I feel you for you, Vera. Don't worry, it'll be fine. I think that went well. And... She's pretty cute. Oh yeah, sure yeah, she is pretty cute indeed there. She's a pretty, pretty nice warlock looking girl right there. <clears throat> hey! You're... Hey, you're not falling asleep on me, are you? Huh? No, I just not really slept in for a while. We can still call this off if you if you don't want to. No, I can handle this. I I'm fine. Okay, okay. So, what's the next step? According to the book, we will face some kind of trials to find the heart of the woods. Trials? Does it uh, uh, specify uh, specify what kind? Did somebody say trials? What? Huh? Who said that? Question marks. That means someone's new coming in. Uh, yes. Well, do I have a trial for you, human? I have lost my damn cow. Oh no! Not so good. Vila, who on on Perthro are you talking to? I'm not sure. Hey, who are you again? Just your friendly forest, Fide Fitra. Fitra? Oh, is that a, the forest talking to them? A Fitra! A what? Uh, can you not hear them? No! You two? Less bickering, more finding my cow. You, they really want us to find their cow right now. Their cow? Uh, yes! The Vidra lost her cow, and they want us to find- to help find it! Uh, how long has it been since you actually had a full night's sleep? Oh, shut it! Open your eyes! Oh, shut it! Open your ears to the forest and help me find the cow! Hey, Britta! Uh, where did we find your cow? She responds when, well, to singing, and Bell netters. Uh, okay, singing in bed netters. Another quick question. Yes? Are you really tiny or just invisible? Both! Well, uh, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Uh, okay, yeah, you can't even see the spirit of the forest there. No, nothing about this makes sense. Just come with me, Mira. I'll handle this one. Okay, then, I guess we're about to get going. Oh! Another flashback came in here, okay, so we got uh, got two flashbacks now, so cool. So, in conclusion, you won't be seeing that, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> that bunghead ever again. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Mira. It's no problem, I mean, it's literally my job. Still, that's a huge weight off my shoulders. Oh, thanks to you. Uh, really, it was no biggie. Let me at least repay you. No way, you've already paid me plenty. You didn't even hear how I want to repay you through? Oh. I want to make dinner for you! <laughs> oh, yes, that actually sounds great. Aw, oh, she's gonna make dinner for her? That's nice, that sounds really nice. Give her dinner now. Yes! Uh, you've already cooking that, though? Wouldn't it be a hassle to make some for me as well? I was already making food for you. Vila? Well, you said you were coming over around dinner time with the good news. No, no, it was really thoughtful of you. It's nice. Thanks, but save your praises till after you tasted it. I'm not exactly the best cook. As long as you're not poisoning me. Well, I guess we'll see. <laughs> Here you go! Well, this isn't bad at all. You're not saying it's just to be nice? You, I wouldn't lie to you. Yay! <laughs> hey, uh, Vila? <laughs> are we, like, friends? Of course, we are! Does that mean we'll keep hanging out now that the case is over? For sure! That's great to hear. 
Oh, well, now they became friends. That's sweet to know. She made her dinner, and now they're friends. That's good. What the hell just happened? We helped the Verta find their cow. And the Verta is tiny and also invisible? This one was the least. I'm unsure if they all are. Look, you need to open up. What? I'm an open book. An open book? You're not even at the library. Uh, wait, what do you mean finding and found the cow? I mean, did they even found the cow or are they just hallucinating or on drugs or losing their minds, I presume? I'm not really sure what that means. I just mean you're totally closed up to all this stuff. All this stuff? Like, a uh, spirit of virility, strange dance, the unknown. You know, I just don't believe in that stuff. Nothing tonight has even made you question it? All I've, I've seen tonight was a very sleep divine girl yell at some trees. Sorry, that was harsh. Yeah, that was pretty harsh there, hon. Don't ever do that again, come on. No, it's okay, you're right. That's what it must look like from your point of view. I'll just keep my mind open, okay? Thank you, Mira. Don't mention it. So, what's supposed to be at the center of the four woods? Oh, I thought witchcraft was too weird for you. A girl can be curious. Just promise you won't make fun of it, okay? I won't. Yeah, but you'll make that face. What face? The one where I can tell you totally think what I'm saying is bullcrap. My face does whatever my face wants to. Just tell me. Alright, alright. The magic is supposed to be stronger the closer you are to the heart of the woods. That's where the raw lives. Who's that? She's, uh, she's sort of the protector of the forest. So she'll come stab you if you cut down a tree? I don't think stabbing is really how she handles it. But she might get mad if you keep disrespecting the forest. Uh, yeah, don't disrespect the forest then if there is a keeper in the forest then. Different Gidra have different rules and boundaries. Have you met her? Not yet, but I feel like we might meet her tonight. I hope so, at least maybe we can help, she can help. I suppose that would make sense. Hey, uh, not to cut this conversation short, but do you also see that silhouette up ahead? Huh? What silhouette? Oh my, yes! There's definitely someone there! It better be this raw girl, so we can get this over with. I doubt it, it's probably our next trial. Great! Hey, at least this one doesn't seem invisible! Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Wait. Oh! Uh, it's a wolf there. That's a wolf. It's a wolf! A pretty large one at that! But this one has- wait. That's really a wolf, but it has two heads right there. What the heck? Who are you calling large? Uh, oh, sorry. Didn't know that that, that was a sensitive topic. Don't tell me the wolf is talking to you, Vera. You still can't hear it? It's just growling. Is she stupid? Uh, she just hasn't opened her heart. That wolf is making a lot of noise. Do we have to fight it? Yes! No! I think we need to help them. Thank goodness. I really don't like... Don't feel like fighting a wolf. I could take you. Remember that mind of yours you promised to keep open, Vera, Mira? Um, yes. The wolf is speaking to us. You can hear them. That's impossible. It is with that attitude. <sighs> I need your help, Mira. Yeah, come on, help her, help her, help her. Go talk to the wolf. The dog and the dogs are speaking. I think she can hear us. Duh! It talks! See? Yes, you did it! Now... How do we help you, Wolf? Oh, you don't have to do anything. We just wanted to say hi. What are you talking about? I want to tear them limb from limb. You two are not getting past us. We don't mean you any harm. That's all I needed to hear. No, they're liars. Oh, so I'm assuming this one is positive and this one is negative. That's hilarious. <laughs> like, we're, they're just debating on what whatever they're going to do, really. Uh, uh... Hey, Wolfie. That's not our name. Our name is Pa. 
I never agreed to that. Okay, Pa, what's bothering you? I'm upset! Oh, it's nothing really. You are giving me a very conflicting messages here. What are you upset over? Just upset. Angry! We're just not feeling too well. Hmm. It's the worst of the worst when you don't even know why you're feeling bad. Yes, you get it, human! Maybe you could go take that anger out. By human? No, letting your anger hurt others is not a nice thing to do. We could go bite some sticks. Lame! I think that might be a good idea. Ugh, if we, if you both say so, I guess. Okay, well that's cool. Okay, so we're biting some sticks now, so that's good. Oh, look at that! You're just, uh, you're just on the bed, and you're just, uh, just being all so sweet. That's cute. Okay, I like this. Good morning, sleepyhead. Ugh, nothing good about this morning. You got the long shift today. Yeah. That blows. It blows big time. At least you get to wake up the cuddles, right? That's pretty nice. Uh, I guess there is something good about this morning after all. Aw, it's cute. I, I kind of like the scene right there. The two of them are just, um, just waking up in the morning and just greeting each other. It's adorable. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> My throat is hurt, sorry. You mean a lot to me, Virla. I'm really glad I know you. Uh, I, uh, think you're great too. Huh. Oh, what? I have to get up and get to work. Uh, I have to get up and get to work. Right, uh, yeah. Remember to lock my door when you leave, okay? Of course. Aw, that's cute right there. Just, I, I kind of like that scene. That's adorable right there. She doesn't feel the same way as me, does she? It sounded so forced. Or did I say too much? Maybe this just isn't appropriate after dating a few weeks. No, no, maybe it just caught her off guard. I don't know what was going through her head. Frick, she's probably really uncomfortable, though. What if she hates me now? Crap, I can't go and sprawl now. Everything is fine. Don't go... Don't go make a big deal out of nothing, Mira. Oh... She's probably having a crisis because she doesn't even know if, uh, if Vila actually likes her in the way that we all know. Maybe it's like some sort of like a struggling feeling mechanism that she's facing, probably. You really handled that well! Yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah, I had some practice calming myself down. Ah. So, are we there yet? Or will I eventually have to beat up a strange forest creature. I'm fairly certain the challenges around are three, nine, threes, and fives. I'm really betting on three then. Me too. Even I can handle, I can only handle so much strangeness. Really? I thought you were like the queen of weirdness. <sighs> Shut up. Just because I practice some light witchcraft doesn't mean I'm going to feel totally fine after meeting a two-headed talking wolf. Uh, actually, how are you holding up? Aren't you totally blind mind blown? I feel weird. Good weird? Bad weird? I'm not sure yet. If I had to guess, you're probably feeling the change. Like your wor world just got turned upside down. It certainly did. It's almost like everything looks different now. Or in a different light. It's always fun to hear you try to describe your feelings. Yeah, that's not really my strong suit. That's okay, Mira. I just want to know if you're okay after all that. I don't think I'm, like, okay, but I can keep going. I promise I would help. You didn't really promise. I promise I will help you. Alright, big brave detective. I'm detecting that you're rolling your eyes at me. <laughs> yeah, they're just teasing each other. That's cute. <gasps> you caught me red-handed! Exactly, because I am the best of the best. Dang right! Do you also hear that music? Oh, what music? Oh, the music's coming over. Oh yeah, I can definitely hear the music, all right. I, what? No. It's so pretty. 
Why are you hearing things I can't hear I again? I am open. Forest, let me hear it. Oh, gods. It's beautiful. Oh no, she's hypnotized by the music. Vila? Where are you going? Music. What the hell is going on? It's like she's in a trance. Uh, uh, this cannot be good. Uh, yeah, you better go help her. <gasps> oh no. Uh, that's a siren right there. It's a siren. Freak! What is that? Mila, what are you doing? The music. It's so beautiful. Mila, don't go towards it. Crap. I will not let you hurt her. Uh, yeah, that's a siren. A siren's trying to lure her and try to kill her, probably. Oh my gosh. I'm not abandoning you, Vila, Mira. I'm not abandoning you, Mira. Yes, you are. We'll still see each other. You know we won't. Uh-oh. They're now in a fight? Oh, crap, this is not good. Once you move to that stupid island, you... Once you move to that stupid island, you'll forget all about me. I won't. We'll just see each other less. I want to see you more. That's just not possible, okay? I can't say no to an opportunity to work on a real farm instead of those dingy underground mom ones. I hate everything about a Belleval. I guess that includes me. Oh crap. So they're getting their their own huge fight, and that's when their relationship is falling apart, I'm assuming. Oh no, this is bad. Would it really be so bad if you stay here? Yes! You don't understand how much I hate it here! No, you are the one who don't understand! Please, calm down, Mira. Calm down? This doesn't have to be a big deal! Yes, it does! You never re replicated my affection and now you're just uh, just going to disappear? You just want to clear it clear your blank without about having to do with me! I guess you are at least getting your break. Goodbye. Oh. Uh-oh. This is not freaking good. I mean, I can understand Amira's struggles of Vila leaving, but you gotta understand that she's doing it for a good cause and all that. I mean, I'm kind of in two different sides of each one of the characters, really. I'm supporting pointing Vila from going to do her dream job of getting away from the city, while I'm still feeling bad for Mira, who wants to see it and see her more often. Mira. Hmm. Yeah, you did the big oopsie doopsie right there, hon. Uh oh. Oh, and they're back right there. Mira? Uh, Vila. Are you okay? I think so. Guts! My head hurts like hell! Do you remember what happened? Uh. I remember us getting along again. Uh, yeah, that was actually really nice. I usually get a headache when we don't get along. Well, you were soft on attack by a Nitsi. Uh, I was- Wait, you know what a Nitsi is? Uh, flip through your book while I was waiting for you to wake up again. Crap, was I out of that blood that long? <laughs> you must have been freaking out. I think I handled it pretty well, actually. Oh, yeah, sure, you probably handled it really well. Uh-huh. Uh, sorry, that was a lie. I was freaking out big time. I was really scared. Oh, you were that worried? Yeah, I don't want you to get hurt. Did you think I wouldn't care or something? No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> Good. I can't have you going around thinking I'm that mean. So... You admit that you are a little mean? Uh, only a little. Psst, dark. <laughs> Ugh, don't freak out, but I feel the presence of that thing again! The one that's been haunting you for weeks? Yeah, I think it's here. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh gosh! Who that? Uh-oh. It's, it's a, it's the guardian of the forest named Ra. Ahem. <clears throat> Greetings, Villa Mira. I swear to every single god, if you as much as lay a freaking hand on her! Calm down, Mira. I am not here to harm either of you. Wait, what? Oh, then why have you been bothering me for weeks? 
you really been freaking me out, you know? It's my duty to protect everyone who lives in my forest, Vida. That includes you. Me? Wait, you've been doing the opposite of protecting me? Yeah, you've been scaring the hell out of us. None of you were ever in any real danger, okay? And Nixie attacked me! Yes, Harv did go a little overboard. I will have a talk with her after this. Hmm. So, you're the Raw? I'm one of them. There are multiple of you in this forest? Yes, there are much too many beings for just one Raw here. How many are you are there? I cannot give you that information. Can you at least tell us why you did all of this? I could smell your sadness out here every night. Smell? I decided to fizz you in your dreams, find out what was troubling you. That's pretty invasive. Yes, pretty invasive indeed there. My apologies, most beings do not mind. What's done is done, I found the source of your sadness. You put us through all of this just to get us to talk to each other? It worked, didn't it? Oh, so she basically did all this, all this crazy stuff, just so that these two can talk and get along. She's actually fixing the relationship. Ooh, that's actually a really nice concept. The guardian of not only the forest, but the guardian of relationship fixes. You mother fr- Thank you, Ra. Next time, just knock on my door and talk to me, though. That was noted. Now, go and make some tea, and for goodness sake, Talk to each other. Hmm. Yes, she's a therapist right there. That's a forest guardian, uh, freaking, uh, therapist right there. Oh, and now they're back here, back in the cabin, where they're all warm and cozy. Ugh, what a hell of a night. You don't say. That raw girl was interesting. She just wanted to help. I think spirits are more used to helping wild animals. Or maybe she just wanted to play some pranks on us. No, I think she was just trying to fix your fix your guys' relationship so that you can get along just well. Well, either way, she did succeed in making us talk to each other again. Yeah, I guess she did. Should we take your advice? I'm not much to admitting that horned dingus is right, but yes, let's actually talk. I'm sorry you reacted like when you said you were moving away. My emotions completely ran off with me. I'm aware your feelings do that, but I've just never seen you like that before. Yeah, certain things make it worse. I wanted to reach out to you again, but I... I think I have sort of convinced myself you hated me. I could never hate you! Really? Yeah! What if I said I still don't believe in witchcraft? Yeah, she's trying to make you and make you angry and stuff. <laughs> there, Vila. Oh my gosh. I'm just kidding. There's no way I could deny it now. You dork. I'm also sorry I never reached out to you again. I feel like you're better off without me. Do you really believe that? I do upset you a lot. Oh, Vila. That's not a you problem. It's me who has to work on that. I still want to do better! Okay. Shall we make it a shared effort then? Definitely! Does that mean you want to try again? Yeah, yes Mira! I would really love to try again! Oh, they're gonna try again? They're gonna work things out! Oh, and they're gonna to drink some tea and have blankets together. That's so sweet. The end! Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Nom nom nami, you once again did it once more. Thank you so much for reading. And I had a pleasant time reading it as well there, my dear friend. And the book closed, the case closed indeed. Alright, so that was us playing I Think I Need Your Help. 
This was a very sweet game and also has some very wholesome and very deep messages about overcoming your feelings and other stuff really. I quite enjoyed the story and I do love the aesthetics as usual. The same exact Num Num Nami's is, uh, aesthetics that is used in every game. I just love the art style, it's just so darn cute. And all the plot lines are pretty interesting as well. Like the Guardian of the Forest, Ra is just actually supposed to be a therapist of feelings and stuff. That's actually really nice and all. And yeah, I quite enjoyed it quite a bit. So yeah, I quite enjoyed it. So uh, yes guys, that's gonna be all for today. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you go subscribe to my channel. Make sure you go subscribe to my channel. Give me all likes, subscribe, everything. I'll try you me. And hopefully you're looking forward for new videos in the future. So there we go now and bye guys. Yeah, we.